Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, it's been a while since I've done a, a, a topic like this, so... A little bit of backstory before I do. A couple weeks ago, I, recently even, I've been uh, resuming being part of uh, the live streams over on D9's channel. Um, now, in one of his live streams... Uh, the same one that is actually being done on this same day as I'm recording this, but for you guys, as I said, it'd be like two weeks ago. Um, <sighs> so Danny was on break, and a couple of people came in feeling a bit conflicted, made good actions, you know, did some great things, but felt like they were getting so little in return that they it brought them down a little bit not whether it's by a lot or not i'm not sure that's why i'm saying a little bit i actually have the lines in front of me that were said that's why i'm looking downward um so what was brought up i i, I responded with a very specific line i was dumb enough not to prep find it beforehand but Ah, wait, wait. Here we go. So the line I said was, The heart of a good Samaritan always gets good to come their way. Now, bear in mind, this really does depend on where you're from, too, because not everywhere, um, not every culture, not every location thinks that being a good Samaritan will do you better, because... There are some locations in the world where you do that and you're pretty much disrespecting a believed god. Or goddess, depending on the place. But I digress. Um, why I said this term in the first place is going to stay unsaid for mainly the reason of confidentiality. However, it did intrigue me to talk about that statement. The heart of a good Samaritan always gets good to come their way. This is true, however, under some fronts it can take a lot of time. I'll use some personal experiences as some examples. I'm not going to throw any names within, I'll just say like person A, person B. If you've been on my channel long enough, you may be able to, to decipher who I'm referring to for this example, but maybe not. I don't know. There have been points in times in my past where I have encountered speed bumps on the way I think. I've always thought in a way where I will approach people giving chances until they've given me undeniable proof that I should not do that. This has happened on, it has happened on quite a few occasions where that proof has been provided and it would damage me a lot mentally in going that far but it would give me a decisive conclusion of don't trust this person do not put faith in this person but up until that point I do my best to try to throw trust in any individual who comes my way and it's led me to bad outcomes, but it's also led me to very, very good outcomes. Yeah. For one. <laughs> now, wh how does this tie into the whole Good Samaritan thing? Well, when I give these chances, I treat that idea like the golden rule, which... I'll put it to you this way. He was being a good Samaritan when I was sitting there talking to Mike's boyfriend, crying, trying to comfort me, didn't have any ulterior motives up until... No, no. Never actually had any <laughs> ulterior motives. <laughs> I can't nice, remember a time he did. Nice try, Pink Fox. <laughs> he, he was very sweet, and he was a shoulder to cry on, and we ended up getting married, so... That's one prime example of what I'm referring to, I guess. But when I say this kind of thing, it's more than just having an ulterior motive or not. Um, and, you know, sometimes it could be an exterior motive. 
Those are rare, but they do exist. Going, uh, uh, approaching this circumstance, like uh, the golden rule states, treat others the way you want to be treated, actually is kind of the core of that statement I said earlier on. Um, most of the time, the heart of a good Samaritan comes from the heart of someone who would rather treat another individual the way they would like to be treated themselves. Sometimes that treat, the, the, doing that can be in, in a sense where you'll see them in a certain mindset and you'll be like, be gentle with them. Um, because you know full well that if that same mindset happened to you and they did that to you, you'd be full of gratitude for that. The idea of having, of being a good Samaritan is, it, it goes a long way. Um, it's it's more than just for people you know, for people who you care about. Let's go off of stereotypical examples. The simple idea of helping an elderly person who uses a cane across the street. As long as you're doing something as, that could be as simple as that good-heartedly, you're hitting that point of being a good Samaritan but in the conversation the reason this statement was said in the first place was an individual was wondering if because of a good action will they get a good action back I said that statement once again I'll reiterate it heart of a good Samaritan always gets good to come their way now, the reason I worded it like this was more the factor that, yes, something good will happen, but depending on the person and their circumstances, sometimes it can take more time than others. For example, say, mm, let me see, let me think, of, can I think of an, ah, donating certain things. The day job I have, when we receive certain I a certain I Item, the certain item we always receive and we, we will like grade them to see if they're sell resellable or if we have to throw them away or if we can donate them. Keyword on that, donate them. There are some individuals out there who will rather than bring them back to us, they would do exactly that. Donate them to people who need them. And sometimes the response can be immediate towards that. Sometimes it can take a bit of time. But it's kind of, in a way, a good act is kind of like the truth. The truth will always come out, but the, it, the reason I say in a way that's the same is because the good will always return. Sometimes you just got to give it a lot of time. Some people will be lucky enough to get it um, immediately, but that is a very rare circumstance. It depends on how much is going on in your life at the moment. It depends on, well, there are a lot of factors there. I'm not going to go too much in depth. Too, I'm not going to delve too much into that. But, yeah, after, after I said that statement, I, I, had, I, I got the feeling that I should probably talk about it. So, there you have it. I hope um, this goes out to individuals who were able, who, who had this kind of mindset and were able to find this video, and I, I hope this reached people, the individuals who needed to hear it. Um, if so, I hope this helps. If not, I'm, I'm sure the outcome that you're looking for will be there. Anyways, I'm gonna head off. Gotta take care of Pink Fox over here, she's crippled. I guess we can say that, yeah, crippled. Her her foot is being kind of in a a bad a bad a, a bad bad, foot. bad foot bad foot. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can do do what I can to help her. But thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to check out any other discussion and rant type videos, I think there are like 138 other ones. 238, my bad. Uh, click the link on the side of my yeah, head, really. and you'll. Uh, you'll check out the rest of that playlist there. But this is, a, if you're looking for something a bit more upbeat or something that might flow down a different road, 
something you may enjoy a bit more, why not click link on the other side over here where the channel, you'll be directed to a different video on the channel that you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off once again. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and we hope to catch you in another. See you guys later.